we're going to start to substring, which is where you take a string and cut a piece out of it. And let's start with uh, the ones right here. Now, I'm intentionally not using the banana example because you can just copy that right out of the book and you get all the values from the book that way. Uh, now, right here, we can make a string if you can spell and then sout s equals plus s. There we go. I don't even like that s equals in there. I'll just run it like that. So we got so substring. So what does substring do? Well, there's a few ways to see what it does. You can of course read the book, uh, which I strongly recommend, or you can do fruit dot. I'm going to type in sub. Come on, sub, and you can read. These are called Java docs, and you can click on any of these. So the first one returns a string that's a substring of this string. Substring begins with the character at specified index and extends to the end of the string. So let's grab the word spoon using this. So I'm going to go click on it. I had to double click. Now if you substring at zero, you're going to get from position zero to the end. So st substring at zero doesn't uh, cut anything out. I want to start, I want to just grab spoon, which is 16. So there we go, got spoon out of that. Uh, if I want to get and, and D, the A is at 12. So if we run this, uh, we go from the A to the end. So we want to stop. So let's type 14 and see what we get. All right, so 14 is where we stop. So we stopped at 14, so we stopped at the D. We didn't pick it up. There we go. So from 12 to 15. Now, if this is tricky to think about, uh, first of all, I agree, it is tricky to think about. Just subtract 15 minus 12. The difference is three, and that happens to be the exact size of the substring you're gonna get. So uh, maybe a different way to think about this. You can go from 12 to 12 plus three, and that will give you three characters total. Uh, now, if I wanna grab the spoon with this, the spoon was 16 to 16 plus, let's do plus four. That gives me spoo, uh, plus five, there we go. That gives me spoon. So sometimes it's actually better to do it like this, where you're like, oh, I'm gonna go from 16 to five after 16. Gives, give me five letters, uh, a substring of length five with five letters. So this method's called overloaded. You saw us pass in one integer and on the screen, we passed in two integers. So we're passing it different parameters and it does something slightly different. 